In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change CSS properties values with JavaScript. Okay, guys, so I, I've got the index.html and the CSS folder with the main CSS. I've linked the style sheet here. Okay, so let's close this to have a little bit more space. So I'm going to create a div here with the index box one. Okay, inside of that, a paragraph with box one. Then same thing, so I'm just going to copy and paste this here. And this is box two, box two. Okay, so really, really easy. As you can see here, nothing. Then I'm going to style just a tiny bit. Just the padding, like 30 pixels. And then div, background color, light blue. Padding, 20 pixels, margin, 10 pixels, and then text align, center, nothing really fancy, okay? Then let's go back to the index.html. First of all, let's go down here and let's actually get the boxes. Box one is equal to document dot query selector, then the index. In this case, box one. Then let's duplicate that. And then box two and box two. Really, really simple. Okay. So to change the CSS properties or add new ones, we're going to use the element style object, which basically is an object containing all the inline style properties. Okay. It doesn't retain all the properties. For example, the one set via a CSS file. So if we access this object, you'll see that it's empty right now. So you could do something like box one dot style, which is the object, and then box two dot style. Okay, so if we save that and we open the developer tools, you can see that you've got zero and zero. Okay, as you can see, you don't have anything. Let's close it. If we add an inline style, for example, up here you can do something like, I don't know, style, background color, red, for example. This is inline style. So this is red. And if you open the developer tools, you can now see that you've got a property, background color, red, in the style object of that specific element, of course. Okay, so the element style object can be used to access inline values, but also to manipulate them. Okay, so you can use that, you can change things like this. So you can do something like box one dot style dot background color green. As you can see now, that's green. Why? Because here you've set it to red inline, then here you change the value to green. Okay. As you can see, I didn't use background hyphen color because the hyphen is not allowed there. Okay. And I've also set the value green as a string. So this, you know, the value needs to be a string and this needs to be like that and not like that because otherwise that wouldn't work. Okay. So keep that in mind that all the properties with the two words, etc needs to be camel case. Okay. Now, of course, the box one dot style, we have red at the beginning and then green. Okay. Because we've changed it. Okay. Then of course, if you want to remove the property, the value, you need just to set it to a null or an empty string and it's removed automatically from the inline style. So for example, if I were to do something like style dot background color equal an empty string, then here it starts out red, then green, and then empty. So here now it's using the CSS in the main CSS file, this one, the light blue, okay? Because you've deleted, you've removed the inline style by you know, setting this value to an empty string. 
okay? So I've just done it this way to show you, but a more real example is using a button to change the style. For example, if we add two buttons, so let's go back here, okay? So button, like ID, select box one, for example, select box one, and then select box two and select box two, okay? So you've got two buttons like that. Then you can do something like, of course you need to get the button, so select box one, btn is equal to document dot selector as usual, then select box one. Then duplicate that, okay. So you've got the two buttons. Then you can do something like select dot add event listener. Click, same usual arrow function. Then you can do something like box two dot style dot transform equal. So you're basically resetting the other style, but then you'll see why we're doing this border, then, oops, then box one dot style dot transform is equal to, as you can see, always string scale 1.05 like that. And then box one dot style dot border. And then I'm going to set four pixels dashed black, okay, something like that, okay? Then, let's do this for the bottom two, which is the same, you just need to change these values like that, okay? So, basically, when you click this button, you reset the style of the box two, and you give the box one this style. You use transform scale and then the border. So let's actually try that. As you can see, you got that. But then when you click the button two, you don't want this to remain the same. You want this to get back to normal and then change this one. So that's why here I've reset the value of the box one when I click the box two and the box two when I click the box one, the, the button one, okay? So as you can see, it does something like that, okay? And if you're still watching, I'd say that you're really, really serious about learning. So I would definitely check out this other video on the screen.